today is the 23rd of July. It's about 10.45 in the morning, 96 degrees. I just wanted to show some of the leaves on here getting scorched on the little, little guys. That one doesn't look too bad. I don't think this one looks that bad. Well, it's getting some dry on it too. Oh, there's some more yarrow that's bloomed. That's pretty. Uh, there's a couple that look pretty sad over here. That really looks crispy. This one's starting to get that way too. I don't know. Anyway, um, temperatures of 107, 108, 110. It's not pleasant. Plants are dropping like flies. The coli is back in the corner there. Probably doesn't like the heat against the wall. This is a plant that likes it wet, humid, and looks like it's got some kind of something on it. This guy, this is a African days, Afri no, African star flower. It's looking pretty good. That's still alive. Again, we put up some shade cloth for the Italian cypress. Even the purple fountain grass doesn't look like it's loving it. It's so hard on all these plants. This mom isn't going to make it. I think all the cannas were, what do you call it, crowded maybe? I should have probably taken them all out of the pots and moved them around thinned them out. That lantana did die. Thank goodness I still have some lantana over in that area to move, but I'm not moving anything right now. It's way too hot. I trimmed back the snapdragons and they kind of started blooming again, but I think it's a so hot for them as well that um, had it been regular temperatures they probably would have bounced back fine but they aren't liking any of this you can tell the lantana out there they don't mind this weather that purple one's doing really great these lantana don't even look bad guess that's why I used to do lantana everywhere. Um, the day lilies didn't make it, but these red lantana are doing good. So I moved, let's see. I didn't look to see if the Agastaki were doing good over here. Let's go look. Even though they're in the shade now, it's so hot that I doubt that anything's liking their home. That's looking like a mess. Uh, it's got some life to it. So does that one. So they might pull out of it. I'm hoping this is like last year and July is our hottest month and then we'll go into some cooler temperatures in August. 
Last year I had this foreboding thought that August was going to be even worse, and it wasn't. So, that plant's not doing too bad. This one I think has some brown on it, a little bit. The cypress vine loves the temp too. It says, July, bring it. Eh, doesn't care. Crazy. So cool looking. I love it. I took out that petunia that was in here. Um, the squash bugs are just taken over like crazy. I feel like everything is kind of in hibernation right now. There is a bloom on the okra. Okra loves heat too. Okra, eggplants, cypress vine, lantana. That's what I should have in my garden. It's just kind of a boring garden. Peppers. Peppers like it. Okra, peppers, lantana, cypress vine. <laughs> Even the tomatoes are struggling. They're still setting fruit though, but slowly, very slowly right now. And they don't look healthy. I'm, I took some cuttings the other day and I might try to plant some mid season here. We'll see. One was off the money maker tomato plant. My husband cleaned out that spaghetti squash because the squash bugs were rampant. Right now, even the serranos here are drooping. Um, I will say I oh, I forgot eggplant when I was naming stuff. I do like these moss roses in the morning because they do bloom, but the rest of the day they look shaggy and nasty and the flowers shrivel up. Oh. Still got a few onions going, but not a whole lot. Oh, this was interesting too. I had put some, these are all eggplants on this end but I have put some compost in these beds. And what's in the compost? But tomatillo that we pulled out already. Something's, oh, there's a huge worm on there. There's the big ass worm. I have to get my gloves on. This Roma tomato looks pretty good. These cow peas don't look great. That angelone is still going, so it must be okay. But anyway, that's about as much time as I'm gonna spend out here. I'm gonna go back and get that big green worm and that will be my morning outside. It's just too hot. That's my garden diary. Today is the 17th of July and this is what we got out of the garden. A few mini bells, Fresno, okra, and just a few tomatoes. It's just cause it's so hot. It was like 107 or 108. So it's gonna put the garden in a rest mode, weary mode. Today is July 19th and this is what I got out of the garden. All of these carbaccis, some of them are a little orangey. I picked some that are just yellow and then I've got some 
one maybe that's kind of red but I'm gonna make uh, peppers a pepper dish so I wanted those they're sweet peppers then I got some Fresnos and this is my first um, salsa pepper and these are mini bells and then I've got some tomatoes and I also grabbed some tomato suckers off of the money maker and the 4th of July plants because I think I'm going to try and root those and then plant for a mid-season. Today is the 22nd of July and this is what we got out of the garden. We got about six okra, four Fresnos, but this Fresno is really bizarre looking. And then some tomatoes that I'm not real, I mean, they're not the prettiest. They have like sideways cracks on them, but at least I'm still getting a few tomatoes. So 